making his way to the ring, the senior official, Red Guy. Yeah. Yay, I don't have... What, what is that? Is that a chain? What is the... What? Oh! Did, did Red Guy just get hit in the face with a chainmail glove by the, the mass referee of all people? Really? Referees fighting? Ring announcers wearing... Sh okay, I don't mind the short skirt so much, actually. It could be shorter. But the Red Guy just got clocked in the mouth by the mass referee. It was, that was like a cheap shot, too. They're two referees. You think they fight like girls or something. <laughs> the fact is, we got a show. It's okay, folks. Red Guy is used to taking one in the face. Uh, we got a show to get to, so... um. Are you good? Can we go? He's fine. Only contest is a four-person sudden death match. Entering first from Munich, Germany. Sight. Well, I was wondering where Scythe was earlier, and I guess this answers my question. Scythe was preparing itself for a match. It's the um, Down Syndrome brother, sister, she male of the Merrick family. I know you have Down Syndrome, it's okay. Hey, that thing is cuter than you. It's cute, damn it. The fact is, Scythe is a member of the Merrick family. The younger Down Syndrome she male, I'm not sure. from New Delhi, India. It's Inkblot! Yeah. Hey! You gotta get it right, Miss Hayden. It's from 7-Eleven. Where's my taquito? That's it. Legacy Inkblot is bringing me a taquito. Well, Scotty Nova really just trying to make a name for himself, couldn't get it up. So Nacho's kind of uh, took him under his wing, I guess. He's now part of the Yundi Dogs, it's okay. Let's see how that does for him. Well, that wasn't very impressive, was it, kid? Entering last from Manchester, New Hampshire. It's hot! All night! Had to be him! Well, the fact is, we got our second uh, four-man sudden death match going on here. <coughs> well, I'm going to have to say four-person, because the she-male of the Merrick family, Scythe, I think she, she you know, Shim has Down Syndrome. That, that's my guess. Oh, a big bump bop by Inkblot to Scotty Nova. Scotty Nova going all the way down, and now Inkblot is going right after Shim of uh, the Merrick family. What is that thing? I don't know. I've tried to do research, but have you ever tried talking to a gimp in a jumpsuit? It's awkward. And of course, you got the member of ICP in the corner over there. Hawk, former member of Eagle of Justice, teaming up with his homeboys, his uh, poop poop shoot group, ICP. And Inkblot seems to be getting the hell beat out of him. Say, so, yeah, I'm on fire tonight, Fox. It's okay. I'm on fire tonight. Scotty Nova with the. <coughs> It's taken. <laughs> Where the hell's my water? The one, two, the stench of the ice is just reaching me to the table and it hurts my throat. <laughs> Scotty Nova gets picked up by the big hawk. 
slammed down, and big butt run by Inkblot. And almost a two count. Well, Inkblot gets thrown out by the Hawk. International ICP, Inner City Posse. I'm not really sure. But they're getting the hell beat out of by International Spot, the Merrick family, and the Undy Dogs, all represented in this match right here. All like I've said all night, trying to make big momentum going into Legacy. Shim off the ropes. Scythe misses. Scotty Nova with the schoolboy. One, two, three. That's it. Scotty Nova wins. Your winner, Scotty Nova. Holy crap. Scotty Nova wins a match. Scotty Nova wins a match. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay. Legacy is coming to an end. Um, it hasn't started yet. And when it comes, I'm gonna be a new hybrid. Um, yep. This doesn't normally happen, folks, but I'm a little speechless after that. I have no idea what to say, so we're just going to continue on with the show. And now, a few words from the WAW Pure Champion, the Natural Born Killer, Martins. What the hell was that? You gotta be professional, Miss Hayden. I know you don't like the guy, but you gotta be. All right, Mr. James. Hey, Mr. James. She doesn't want to be near you. She's not worthy. You got to be professional, Miss Hayden. Professional. I got a huge problem with one person in the back right now who imposed himself in the Legacy match next week for my title. He beat Reyes, the challenger. He didn't beat the champ. He has no right to be in that match, and I want him out here right now. So JT, get your ass out here and let's fight. You know, you can say whatever you want about Mr. James. But the fact is, he's straight to the point, he knows what he wants, and he takes it. But then again, JT Lambo is the same exact way. He wanted in the pure match at Legacy, so you know what he did? He saw an opportunity, and he took it. That's what he's supposed to do. You have Red Guy, the senior official, of course, in this match. And next week, I mean, he should be home training, really. He got some match against the mass referee. The guy just socked him in the mouth. Uh, of course, earlier tonight, Miss Hayden and uh, Miss Wild now are going to compete in a match at Legacy. And, of course, we got for the Pure Championship, it's JT Lambo versus Michael James. Oh, wow. Oh, there's the hand check. I guess this is going to be contested under Pure Rules. Why the hell not, right? It's close as you've come to gold in a while, unless it's undoing a belt buckle. But I'm cha. <laughs> the fact is, Michael James and JT Lambo, their styles are so similar, they like to kick people in the face. And they really smile about it. They don't have any remorse for it. Michael James, one side of the ring to the other, misses the knee. And you see JT Lambo, Mr. Lambo with a smile, catches him. Oh, wow, corkscrew neck breaker right there. There we go. Well, he wants to end it. That I know. Oh, Jesus. Hilo Moonsault misses, and in for his troubles, he gets kicked in the face. The match is so good. Miss Hayden's so good for Klempt over here. Must be the match. Or it could be me. It's me. Off the ropes. Oh, JT Lambo, excuse me, out of the corner. Chest first. I mean, these fans, they don't like either of these men. Who are they going to cheer for here? James up and over. Oh, big disaster. Drop kick from the bottom rope to the chest, the bread basket. One, two, right in between both of them, I guess. What do you call that between the chest and the bread basket? What is this? The, 
The sternum? No, I don't like that word. That sounds too technical. Off the ropes. Up, uh, wow, up on the shoulders. Fireman's carry position. James trying to get out of it. Rakes the eyes too. But no. Oh, still has the wrist. Kicks him hard in the bread basket. And James goes down like a pile of bricks. <coughs> like I said, JT Lambo, Michael James, they know exactly how to hurt each other. Michael James probably can't even get a gas of breath. And James going right for it. That's a huge red spot on Michael James' white beater that needs to be cleaned. He needs to learn to wash these things. This is what happens when you get rid of your sister. She doesn't, he doesn't have anyone to wash it for him. We know that's what she did. Among other things. And JT Lambo trying to take advantage. No, J no, James. Back into this. Oh, wow. Double kick to the mush. James still trying to gasp for the air. JT Lambo's not even moving. This is on the pure rules. What the hell? Um, okay. Well, the fact is, I guess this match is a draw. And wait, what the hell is going on? Buck, you need to get something going on. We got Conway and Andreas Wraith beating the head in a smoke out in the middle of the ring to Lambo. James out of nowhere. Why couldn't he get up three seconds ago? We might have actually had a victory under his belt. The fact is, Conway and Andreas Wraith are on the outside beating the hell out of each other. Michael James can barely stand and wait there. Oh, Lambo. Oh, that's a kick to the. Ouch, I, oh, I like to the other side of the ribcage. And there goes a bandana, a do-rag is what his people call it. What? The fact is, Andreas right, oh, gone way and kicked low. Not in the bread basket, a little south of the equator. They're beating the hell out of each other. These are all four participants in the pure championship match next week. What the hell? Michael James. Just diving into all three of his opponents next week. Or for next week, a legacy taking everybody out. Michael James is... He put his body on the line. I mean, that shows how much Michael James wants this pure championship to stay around his waist. If you want to make a statement going into legacy, I mean, that's it right there. And there you have it, your pure champion, Michael James, standing tall. The question is, next week at Legacy, he has three people to go through. Elimination, four-way dance for the pure championship. Michael James will do anything, anything, putting his life his livelihood, his body on the line to retain that championship.
All right, folks, what you're going to do, you're going to click on the next link to see the main event. That is the very last match before Legacy 2012. So click it, and we're going to start right back here in 5, 4, 3, 2,